Greetings, YouTube. This is a uh, reminder for those of you that messaged me saying that the uh, gauntlet is gone, that it has been permanently moved from side quest to permanent uh, content. And for those of you also wondering, I have had reports with rank four six stars of people doing this allegedly itemless. If I tried to do this itemless, it would be something that rhymes with impossible. In fact, uh, when I did this live last year, I used so many revives that people, at least one person, spent the time to edit all my deaths into one video for their channel. That's how you know you're a celebrity. And I cannot say that in a more sarcastic sense. But uh, Indian Baller here says that he did something that I... I'm getting nostalgic for the completion run I did with the Abyss. He used Aegon in like 13 out of 20 fights. And you can see at the end of this nameless Thanos fight that the crits, like always, are just beautiful. Look at that. Just a total cheat code. I also know people that used suicides effectively. So that's good to know. You don't have to turn your masteries off necessarily. If you fight really well, but it doesn't hurt, particularly if you're still somebody who likes to quake and shake, you can see the rewards are very outdated, but you do get a um, decent amount of tier three alpha and tier six basic for the work involved. I still say that the side quest and the Thronebreaker plus Paragon special bonus for exploring Cavalier of Inquest feels like a better use of your time and it's much easier. But uh, hey, new content for people is new content, even if it's technically old content re-released a year later. And it's cool that they gave people who could do it pretty easily last year a chance to do it again and get another batch of rewards. The Tier 5 Class Catalyst Selectors are awesome. Appreciate that. It is interesting how the Nexus feels a bit of a letdown compared to just a month ago when July 4th weekend sales were here. But uh, this can be done with free-to-play players for no cash, and that is an important distinction. Featured Crystal Gamble time? Pretty ballsy. One away from Scorpion. Did he have Elsa? He did not. Okay. So, I think already the gauntlet was totally worth it for this account because, wow, Elsa is, especially if you're on suicides, just one of my favorite champions and a battlegrounds MVP on both offense and defense. So good pull there. But of course you go for the featured crystal looking for featured champions, looking for black cat, Wong, Scorpion, Hulkling, Rentra, and Wong. That's a pretty rare sight to behold from these crystals. Congratulations. Wow. That's really good for two featured crystals. I've literally seen the same two crystals equal two drags. But now here is the main event, as they say. And wow. Wow. So this was a borderline meme. Well, this was a meme minus purgatory crystal a year ago. Karnak's buff has led some people, shout out to Sawyer and Evan Peterson, to think he is a top skill champ nominee, maybe top 10, that people are still sleeping on, myself included. And the Juggernaut buff is really fun. I do think he benefits greatly from being awakened, and obviously you would not be able to do that just pulling him out of the crystal. So it's a battle of new buffed champs, and I'm going to be recent biased here and say Juggernaut. Will the recency bias be confirmed? It sure is. Sure is. Okay. Well, good featured crystals, good jugs, and this rank up gym crystal, again, it almost feels like it's outdated. But, hey, rewards are rewards. Congratulations again on building up Aegon. And uh, we will end it here. As always, we like to keep these videos around five minutes long. Indian Baller, thanks again for the submission. It's an honor to commentate your crystals.